was like being in a movie when the judge uh, indicated that he was going to sign the order that would free Lamont. And what was really uh, amazing about it was the words that the, the judge uh, said directed at Lamont about you know, how uh, he doesn't know every day whether he's done justice, but uh, that uh, he felt that in this case, this is the closest he'll ever come to knowing that he actually, uh, you know, uh, what he did resulted in justice being done. When we get a, a murder case, we have to reinvestigate from the ground up, starting with the available documents, moving to the witnesses, and then doing analysis, and it takes a long time. And it takes a long time because we're also, we have an education mission. The final binders that, the, that we presented to the judge, you know, that thick, and there were two of them. Uh, so it's, it's a lot of material, and uh, learning how to um, make a persuasive case out of that inf much information was definitely a skill that I was able to work on. We found some interesting stuff, of, you know, that contradicted the main witness's testimony with re previous written statements and kind of put together, you know, analyzed it more closely and why it was inconsistent, you know, building up to, we, we didn't think it was true when we were reading it, but you know, you can't just say, this isn't true, we're trying to find a way to show that it was inconsistent with the other evidence in the case. A lot of these cases, you know, we spend a whole semester just getting to know the facts. This was one of those rare instances where you're actually representing an individual and helping an individual, and even more so that it's someone's life that's at stake. We direct these very talented Duke Law students, and we, as the lawyers, have to supervise any work they do. And um, But it, they do all, most of the investigation under our supervision. They draft the legal documents under our supervision. They get to attend the hearings, and, and four times now they've been um, We've been fortunate enough, and the students have been fortunate enough to watch their clients walk out of prison. What you think now? <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe it. I know that's right. If we had known you were called Shorty, we would have been Jewish. Is it real? That's what I told her to do to me. Pinch me, see if this is real. The Armstrong case. They didn't leave the case behind. Um, there's a wonderful photo at, at the hearing um, where, right after Lamont was released, and he's surrounded, he's banked by these students, and they are from the class of 2009, 2010, uh, 2011, 2012, one from 2013. I first started working on Mr. Armstrong's case uh, my the summer between 1L and 2L. Uh, I had been working with Professor Newman a little bit before that and I ended up working for her during the summer and I was assigned to this case. And then after the summer ended I wouldn't leave and uh, she wasn't able to get rid of me so I've been on it ever since. Regardless of the specific practice that you end up doing, ultimately the facts of the case are what makes or breaks the case. And to be able to walk into a murder case, which is none of our current practices, nor did we have any expertise to begin with and at the outset there's this intimidation factor of you know this isn't your area you don't know anything but that's a lot of legal practice you need to walk in when you don't have familiarity and you need to learn it and everyone going down the line did that and you know I'd like to think mastered it um, and that transfers wherever you want to take it. I had nine lawyers who served me very graciously and admirably, and uh, I'm very proud of them, no doubt. And I'm also very proud of this, uh, this Duke Law School. The nine people that, I, that composed the A-team and this is the team that got me out of prison. I become, I, as far as I'm concerned, I consider them nine of my best friends. This is, uh, this is as good as it gets. It really is. This is as good as it gets. With, uh, I thought you looked so great when you came out. You were all excited.